everyone it's Ali and welcome to today's video so today guys I'm gonna start this month's uh, giveaway this excuse me this month September is for our international subscribers and um, the other one I made the draw last week and that's gonna be packaged off to the lucky winner so what I'm gonna make I've had to think about it I can't afford to send a big journal because it's too big to package I wanted something that was nice but compact so what i've decided to do is to make a little tab binding tag book that's just a spare one i was just i've never done one before so i was just having a little play yesterday uh, with like scrap paper so that's what i'm going to make i'm going to use a kit that i've bought i've used some dies here I've, these are just tag dies i've used a couple of them Okay, so this is the kit that I've bought. These are just scrap papers from me cutting the tags. So what we've got is I've printed them four to a page so that they're going to be little so that we can embellish inside this little tag journal. It won't be a writing space journal. It'll just be something for you to look at for inspiration. But, you know, I don't want to not send anything. I promised that I would do international as well. So, yeah, I'm doing that. So, like I said, I've printed four to a page so that they'll be small enough to go on these little tags. So, that's what we're going to do, yeah. And then uh, we'll do a winner at the end of September and get it off in the post. So, this was a, a lovely kit, I thought. Really nice little pocket. It's got all sorts in it. Um, I've got a lot of autumn uh, embellishments myself and everything so I'm going to get them out as well so yeah that's the kit that I've bought for you for the little tab tag journal so what I've done is I've put them I've cut them in twos the tag so let's just oh that one's not that one's not gone through let's just get me little um just put a little hole in it hasn't it hasn't die cut that one right so there's one there's two i'm only going to do 10 but i wanted them back to you know back to back so um i'm going to glue them together tell you what let's glue them together while we're while we're doing this um and then we can have a look at what else we need to do i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm doing i've had a little practice but yeah i'll just take my time and see if i can remember how to do it i've never done that tab binding before but yeah it can't be that hard can it so i'm just gonna put like i said i wanted a back and a front i didn't want i didn't want them uh, playing at the back and playing at the front i'm just trying to match match the the tag up it's not doesn't want to there we go there's that one yeah i'm going to ink all down around the sides uh, i'd like i said i was just trying to think of something nice that i could send you but useful so i just thought this would be nice little nice little project to start off with i uh, will ink around the edges like i said let's just put some I've cut 20 tags, two different kinds, 10 of each, so that we can match them up. And these are the papers from the kit that I bought as well. I wanted them back to back so that they're, you know, they're quite stable and they're not very flimsy. didn't want them to be flimsy. Just put that on there. Okay, there's that one. Yeah, I'm hoping I can remember how to do it. Hope so. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz fabric tape. I thought that might be nice. Um, it's quite strong. I didn't want to use fabric because the tags aren't that big, to be honest. So these are just cut with. These are some paper pads that I've bought from the works. So these again, I'm just gluing two together. And you could stitch around them first if you wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna just gonna make them. But I will have to wink around them because 
can see the white where I've die cut. They're not actually accurate. Accurate. They are not actually accurate, to be honest. There's still a little bit of space around there. I keep finding these little bull pins everywhere on my desk. I don't know why. Oh, I know why, because I was sorting a drawer out and they fell out everywhere. I was wondering why I kept picking up um, <laughs> bull pins. Okay. So I just thought the little autumn project might be nice for you to keep. Um, I've no idea how much this will cost to post. I'm going to not do it heavy, obviously, um, because journals, to send a journal to the States, the way I send it, I only ever send, if I'm selling international, but the only way I'll do it is if it's signed, tracked and insurance, because, you know, if something goes wrong or it gets lost or, you know, it doesn't arrive, just something, then I've got the insurance and it costs about just, about £48, something like that. Well, I haven't got that to send every month to send a big journal. So I'm just have to try and think of little ways that I can just say thank you. You know, it's, it is just a thank you to you all for watching and subscribing. Yeah, not much, but it's something, isn't it, at the end of each month. Right, OK, let's put my lid on there. Let's get my ink. I'm going to go with Walnut Stain. And I'm going to ink around my edges. Okay, so I have inked them all. So I'm going to put them in order of how I want them. Like I said, I'm going to go alternates. Uh, what should we start with? Let's start with that one. Then that one. Then that one. Then that one. 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 And then that one. So that's how they're going to go to make the little booklets. So what we do, we start off with this one and we put three pieces of tape down the side. Now this is quite thick. So I think what I might do is let's just cut some little pieces. Uh, where's my scissors? Oh, there me. I um, don't know where me. Ordinary scissors have gone. Oh, there you One, two. But I think what I'm going to do is cut it in half because I don't want it that thick. They're only little tags. So I want three pieces to start off with. Okay. So what you do is you... To try and get into your tape first. You can use little fabric pieces if you want to. Yeah, that's what you can do. But I'm using this tape, she says, if I can get in it. Right, so we start off with three pieces. So we put one there. And then we put one in the middle. And then one at the bottom. You might have made one of these yourselves, guys. You might have done. So that one goes at the bottom. Okay. Then you turn it over. Okay. You get your second one. Okay. And then you want to put two pieces in between those two. So let's just get... Let me just throw the paper away. And let's just get two more pieces. That's a spur piece. Yeah, as you can see, I don't need big thick pieces. So we put line them up. So we put one there. Okay. And then we get the second piece. I hope this is right. I think I'm doing it right. I'm going to do a journal with a binding like this. And we put one there. Okay. We then flick it on top of the first one, line it up nice and neat, and then you fold back your three pieces of washi. So there's one, there's two, there's three. Okay, so now we've got two, so we get another tag, and now what we do is we put three 
pieces of washi in between these two pieces so let's just cut some more washi This is the nearest I've got to sort of an autumn colour fabric tape. This is the Tim Holtz fabric tape, this one. Yeah, I've had it for ages, but it's the nearest to autumn that I've got, really. It's just... Okay, so again, I'm going to go there. And then we're going to go in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to go at the bottom. So we're just alternating three, two, three, two. Okay, and that one at the bottom. Flick it over, line it up again. I mean, you could have different size pieces of paper if you wanted to. And this time we put back the two that we started off with in the beginning. So we're back to three again. Get your next one. Okay, and then we're going to go two again in the middle. So as I said, it's just alternating three, two, three, two. Pretty easy process to be fair. Not too complicated. I did have a little play yesterday, I must admit, because I didn't want to just come on camera and pretend I knew what I was doing because I didn't have a clue. I've never made one before. So what are we up to now? We're up to two, aren't we? So one in the middle there. And another piece. This is quite strong, this tape. This is why I've used it. I thought fabric and glue might be a bit messy. It'd be okay with a journal where the pages are a bit bigger. But because these are only little tags, I thought... Um, that piece is ripped. I thought that this tape may be the better option. I'm sorry if I'm off camera. I'm just trying to get the backing off it. Come here. Right, there we go. Done it. So we're going to go in the middle again. Turn it over. Okay, and you're going to close the three. So that one, that one, and that one. So we're back to two. Okay, so now once, where are we? Is that right? Should I have done the two there? Um, no, that's right, yeah. So now we want three pieces again. I hope this is right. I don't know whether I've gone wrong there. No, that's right. It's right, yeah. Okay, let's get this. Come on, I can't open it. Oh, come on. Okay, so we're back on to three. So we're going to go there. How's everybody doing? Are you all okay? Oh, so I'm not too bad. I've been very tired. I've had such a busy three weeks with family being here and out and about and yeah it's been beautiful don't get me wrong i've enjoyed every minute of it but i'm glad for a little rest get back to me my desk i've done no crafting all for about three weeks if i'm honest two and a half three weeks because like i said i've had my mum here and i've had my son and grandchildren here so yeah it's been a um, been chaotic but lovely let's turn that over and then put the two in okay yeah that's right and then we get the next one and the two again yeah chaotic chaotic but lovely lovely to spend time with my grandchildren and my son and yeah lovely we've had a lovely time but i feel like my house has been was ambushed it was chaotic. well you can imagine can't you with three grandchildren here as well there's one one to two yeah three of my grandchildren uh one's in ten one's seven and one's two and a half and he's a little monkey he is 
is a little monkey <laughs> so yeah it was hard work but lovely at the same time okay so we're going for three this time so that one that one and that one hope it's secure okay and then now we want three pieces i'm glad i used this tape to be honest yeah so what else have we done here yeah we went to different places we did seen different things and uh, we've got a big uh, new charity shop opens apparently i've not been yet hubby's going to take me in the week yeah we didn't get a chance to go when my mum was here uh, no so we're going to go and have a look it's supposed to be really good it's massive so yeah i'm looking forward to having a little nooch around there see if i can find any bargains <laughs> um yeah so the girls go back to school on the 5th of september and what day is it today it's the 1st of september today actually when i'm doing this video okay so turn it over and we're going to go back with our two so one two okay not got many to go now now this one we want two pieces let's put some more pieces let's put a few bits up yeah they go back to school on the 5th of september very important year for them this year because they've got the they're in the last year GCSEs next year so it's going to be a challenging time for them this year i can't believe they're leaving school next year it's unbelievable i really can't right where are we now two aren't we so we want one there yeah i can remember them starting school like it was yesterday it's time flying isn't it guys this year okay lift it over And we're going with the three. And there's that one, that one, and that one. Okay, I hope this is right when I open it out. Well, how many more have I got? Two more. So we want three on this one, that one. Yeah, I think it'd be easier with a bigger spine, a bigger space to work with. These little tags are a bit fiddly but i just wanted to do a little project that i could pop in an envelope and send i'm not too sure what we do when we get to the end that'll be a guess to be honest okay and there's that one turn it over and we're going with the two one two okay so the last one is just two pieces isn't it we got two pieces there's one yep two pieces there so what i'll do when i've done this is i'm going to um spend well it'll take me a while i won't be able to do it all at once cut all the ephemera up to embellish this little tag journal with I could make a couple of these to be honest because I've got four lots of the ephemera printed so I'm thinking what you do is just when you get to the back page is just put them all across so yeah just three two three two and we'll have a look now if I've done it right let's have a little look oh yeah yeah that's right isn't it you can see the tabs and then we can just embellish it a little bit pop it into an envelope and send it on as a thank you i am going to put some twine and that through the top so that's my tab binding there as you can see like that yeah i'm pleased with that for a first go uh, it'd be nice once it's all embellished won't it so yeah what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to leave it there i don't want to keep you on forever i'm going to spend a couple of hours this afternoon fussy cutting and then we can do some embellishing in this little journal as well so as always guys i hope you've enjoyed watching thank you if you've took the time out of your day to stop by and watch i do appreciate it so take care guys and i'll see you all again soon bye for now